Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a one-off non-meme intro. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the absolutely ridiculous level of support uh, for the recent nut merch launch. That's right, I have merch around a large nut. You guys helped absolutely destroy my sales expectations for that stuff. Uh, you can still buy all of it. We don't, we're gonna be infinitely stocking it, including the bundles, which all include little hand-signed mini posters. Anyway, I'm going to open pocket monster cards now. Isn't that right, Big Nut, huh? All right, we don't need you no more, buddy. Yo, do you magic guys want me to open this at some point? Anyway, today is about the Pokemon we are opening up Unified Minds. It's been a while since we've had a fresh English set, I think, at least compared to the Japanese. This will be combining uh, two of the Japanese sets, I believe. I think it is quite a monster set. We're just gonna take a random pack and open it straight away. Um, the artwork here and like the whole Unified Minds concept comes from the Japanese set Miracle Twin. And since then, it looks like Mewtwo has had a shower. A little bit less purple grime around his nasty armpits. We will open this up. We will be seeing what we get. How do we do this one? We slide it off like so. A lot of code cards for this one. A lot of new code cards for new packs. We flip off the Steel Energy. We're going to see a bunch of artwork we have already seen. English packs have become less and less exciting for me to open as I've seen all the artwork and all the cards in the Japanese sets before them. Karate Belt Reverse, baby! Into a big-legged Metacham. Look at those walnut thighs. Pure power. You crush a watermelon between those suckers. Some people say they're just like baggy pants. I like to think there's a lot of hard gristle and meat in there. All right, let's give these ones a proper mix up, boys. And let's keep the party going. Um, so we do have a whole lot of um, nice tag teams in this set and a whole lot of nice uh, full art trainers. You know, I, I'm trying to collect every English full art trainer card. My dream is to one day put them all behind glass as like a big piece to hang on my wall. We have, whoa, this was uh, pretty recent in the Japanese set, the ironing board, the U-turn board. On the end, we have a laddie ass. More like laddie ass. Get out of here. Suck! Next one, number three. We should have 36 packs to open here in an English booster box. Get rid of that. Come on, I hope we get a nice um, full art today. I hope we get something fucking good. I think the last one that we opened up, we got completely gypped. The two boxes that we opened up of the um, last two Japanese ones, got, I got suckered. And so far, right now, I'm also being completely sucked. Um, whoops, wasn't supposed to show that. That dark green, um, definitely getting a shit pack. One, two, three to the front anyway. Get rid of the fighting slash ground. We have a giant... Hearth, okay. Firegrath, fucking Ordino, the big meaty, too close to a, a female stand upright Pokemon. We have a Finian, and then on the end, human female, I must add, uh, Steelix. Now, this card in Japanese, I had a little bit to say about it. I said, why is he not a steel type? Um, a lot of angry nerds told me, Max, you know, Steelix is also a ground type, you fucking idiot. And to that I say, I was pissy because he's obviously, visually, a large steel snake, and I don't think they have ever made any Steelix card a ground type. A solo ground type. He has been dual steel and ground. And look at him! He's, he's made of fucking metal! Visually! Anyone else ever wish that they made that crystal onyx? from the anime into a card. What a missed opportunity. That would be such a cool one-off card, like the Ash Greninja. They should just bring that back and do it. All right, we have a code card. We have one, two, three to the front. We are getting rid of the darkness energy, son. We got the little Jewish gem goblin. We got fucking Lapras. We got a fucking slack hoth slacking around. We got our orange guru um, offering you some herbs. And whatever it would have not- <laughs> ah! Yay! Ah! Okay. Okay, Hyper Ramp, Mega Sabli, and Tyranitar GX. I can, f I can fuck with this. My God, my God, I'm getting greedy. He's getting greedy. He's got, he's got a greedy crush. Giga Fall GX, 250 damage with some gigantic mill effect. My bones are beginning to ache. All right, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's a start. All right, well, um, it's happened again. We may have peaked too early, but, but alas, we will continue. We have a code card for everyone back home. One, two, three to the front, get rid of the fairy energy. We got a fish. We have fucking Hapu. We've got big licker tongues. It's gone for a, a gigantic all around AOE suck. We have Purloin doing some laboratory um, cataloging. I don't, again, I hate this artwork like I said before when we saw it. What the fuck is going on there? Why would you need Pokeballs? How did this one get in there? Did you construct this vial around the ball? Makes no sense. Fucking hell. Think about what you're drawing, you fucking idiot. I'm oh, sorry, Cena. Oh, this bitch thick. Seriously though, so Pokeballs expand when you use them or whatever, but you can see this one is pre-expanded. This one is fully expanded. There's some sort of anal beads over there on the wall. Anyway, so don't give me shit about, oh, this one might have been small when it went through the opening and now it's expand. No, that is a small Pokeball. This is the big one. I'm done. I'm done with this. Next, we have some Mew and Mewtwo pack art. And we're opening it up to reveal a code card and an onyx. Uh, the one that evolves into the retarded Steelix, which just keeps its fucking ground type solo. Dumb. In the card game, it's dumb. I don't like it. Dragon Air, Dragon type. Uh, we've got the big Basque, beautiful misty artwork. I absolutely love that art. Uh, the onyx, the Grimer, Fletchling Lampant uh, as a reverse. And oh! oh, oh, oh. We just pulled all the GX. Stops early. Hate the Pokemon. I don't like it. I don't mind Poipol, his young revolution. But this giant Neanderthal, take a hike. Another one. Fuck you. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. There's a code card. Let's just have a look through it. We've got an extra drill in there as the reverse. The rest is horse shit. Next. Um, so I think we've got to open them from the back essentially so you don't get to see anything else. And we pull the code off like so, turn it around, bring that sucker to the front, fuck off the flame. We've got a koala, fucking a tree. We've got the big anchor. We have a Aksu eating some berries. We've got a fucking bird, a fish. Snova, uh, with his eyes closed as reverse on the very end, gonorrhea, deadly strain. Next up, we got another pack. Who we got? We have a code, one, two, three, to the front. Get rid of grass. We have a Digivice, plagiarizing, uh, Cherish Ball, a, a Scottish Mushroom, and on the end, what the fuck is that? Giant Bomb? I don't remember seeing that. Maybe I did. That's a weird one. Oh, it's like a digital bomb as well. Uh, and on the very end, not even disgusting purple pulsing bat. Next, we have another pack. And we got a code. And we got three to the front. And we got... We have Blaine's quiz show. Why is he running a quiz show? Is this um, is this meant to like um, be part of the lore in the game? Is this the weird? I think I feel, I feel like he has a really weird fucking gym in the old games. We have Litwick, Drillba, Slackoth hugging a bush, uh, Gabite Reverse, and Slacking a beautiful holographic. There, I actually really like that. Someone fill me in on the backstory of Blaine and the Blaine lore. Another one. We have code for the suckers back home. One, two, three to the front. We got the tag switch. Old fuck, Snova, the crow, Grime. We have a gay Lapras with a coming out rainbow in the back. Oh, it's misty. Is this like a, it's a misty Lapras. Look at that. That's interesting. Mermaid's Call and Surf. Beautiful Pokemon. And on the very end, Sil Valley. Hollows in this, pretty nice. Let's get into a, another Pokemon Unified Minds pack. I will open it up like a fucking animal and I will bring the code out. I'm gonna probably start covering some codes or w one guy is gonna just suck all of them. We have the giant karate chopping storm fearing fucking Caracosta turtle. We have the Great Potion. We have Bibarel, the greatest Pokemon on earth. Slackoth, this is the set with a million different versions of the Pokemon. Uh, we've got the koala, and on the very end, the Scottish mushroom, Among Us. Fuck, I'll cover one soon. Get rid of lightning energy. We have Type Null, who evolves into Savali. Then we have on the very end of this one, Dratini as a reverse. And the very end, we 
already have a much superior version to you, but I'll still take it. We've got uh, Mega Sablite and Tyranitar. And look at this beautiful rainbow artwork on the Hyper Rare. You boys are still nice. Don't get me wrong. It's okay. We have. These, they've definitely made these harder to open these days. Another one. We have a code card where I'm going to go like this so no one can QR scan it. And we're going to go one, two, three to the front. This time disposing of the grass energy. We've got the big fat useless marshmallow Pokemon, the Dragonair. Uh, the, the fucking turtle from Finding Nemo. Sweet. Totally. Uh, we've got Marini, Frofuckus, Purloin, Joltik, uh, Dedenny, sucking on some berries as reverse, and on the very end we have a Lucario, which, um, very cool artwork in my opinion, with a Giratina in the background, and Garchomp, uh, I think, I, I guess they're attacking, because I think they're part of... A tag team, but then maybe his move implies that he is their coach and he's training them to work together. I, d I don't know. Again, as I said in another video, why would Giratina want to work with anyone? It seems, I don't know, it seems very odd. Uh, tag coach, your tag team Pokemon take 20 less damage. Yeah, it's weird. He's fucking coaching them. Next! Fucking, fucking open it. Come on, boys! Let's go code card like so again. A nice little non-QR scannable one. One, two, three to the fuck. Fuck the fire energy. Tag switch. We have a Cotney. We have a Tynamo. We have a Noibat. We have a Giant Hearth. On the very end this time, a Meloetta. How many sets? I feel like this is almost three Japanese sets combined possibly. Uh, again, really cool artwork. Um, you can see the Guard Chomp. And the Giratina peeking in the window there. Um, presumably in the background is Lucario, who's still struggling to coach them. Some strange lore. Oh, and this one um, has a, a cheer. I, I guess this sort of pays into it again. Uh, she's cheering on the tag, tag team. Fucking weird. Anyone else just feel like inhaling a hot dog? Let's open up a, another pack of Unified Minds. Here we is. Here's the code. I'm having a stroke, maybe? Question mark? Hello? Someone help? We have someone comment the police, phone the police, uh, Magneton with this sort of warped, aborted head. They all look a little bit wonky. I, I dig that art though. I've uh, got the Jewish gem goblin. We have Sewidal. We've got uh, Bidoof building a dam, looking at a dirty sewer pair for sustenance perhaps. Uh, Skaroopy, Skaroopy, Tesserina, thick plant bitch, look at those big petal thighs. Oh, you can photosynthesize me, girl. Queenly reward. We just some really weird names in the Pokemon card game. Um, Lipard. I really feel like we've, we've seen this art a long, long time ago. I've got to be wrong, surely. There is 236 standard cards, not counting secret rares, in the set, though. Another one. Ooh, that one got a nice little open on that. We have the code card. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of Psychic Energy. Lorantis. Giant Bomb. Um, bug ca Imagine you're playing a... a you, you're a bug catcher, right? You're eight years old. You're out in the field with your Weedle. You're having fun catching bugs. You run into a Pokemon trainer, and they somehow legally in battle pull out a giant bomb and just terrorize you. This is this is a terror this is a terrorist device. What? Okay, Scraggy, pull your fucking pants up! My God, Normal, Tynamo, Poip, Fucky, Sucky, Sucky, but Basculin, Reverse, on the end, Salazzle, walking on glass. Are they trying to make this look sexy? What is happening here? It's 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 the sexualized 100% female lizard queen, and it's sort of doing a weird crutch shot squat over some like a shopping center roof glass i don't know or is this like a reflection in some very reflective tiles another one this time we have the code we have the fire energy we've got a tornadus we've got a jinx a slumbering forest um scraggy tynamo cubone crustle as a reverse some kind of cool artwork there and the very end, an Excadrill Mole. I do understand some of you may only stick around and, and click on a video when it's an English set. So feel free to admire the artwork. I'm sorry if I skip over too much of it. Sometimes I forget there's more people watching than just myself. Uh, Fungus. Honage. Sneasel. 
Ar seen that? Even thought about the name in English. Archon? Archon? Or Archon? Uh, reverse. And on the very end, we've got just another shitty bird. Walmart Moltres. Another pack. Another day, another dollar. We've got the code 123 to the front. We are getting rid of Steel Energy. We have an old lady stamp at the bingo center. Uh, Snow Runt. We've got a drill bar. Dweeble. Dweeble. Um, oh, we've got a Fromantis. Reverse on the very end. Just quickly. Just quickly. Another GX. A Morwell GX. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to quickly go back and say, again, I admire the artwork of these that have other Pokemon in the background. It's really, really cool. There is a Moltres in the set, I'm assuming. There was from the Japanese set that the crab was from. Uh, in fact, all three of the legendary birds are in the background of shittier, younger Pokemon. All looking terrified that they're about to become prey. You know what, guys? It might be time for the three-pack special. That is where we're gonna- if I can even open it all in the one fucking continuous shot, we have. One pack. We take the, the fucking that off. One, two, three to the front. We get rid of that. Um, one, two, three to the front. We get rid of that. That means that is the rare. We put the rare just down there. You know what? I'm just going to then take the reverse. Very nice reverse. We're then going to go through these. Very nice. Who gives a shit? Uh, we're going to open up another pack. I'm going to do it a little bit differently than to how I usually do it. We're going to pull this off. We're going to go like so. We're going to pull this. What the fuck is happening? No! Wrong way! Come on, baby! Keep it quick! There we go. Um, one, two, three to the front. You know how we do. We throw that away. That's the rare, right? Yep, chuck it there. We show the reverse. There we go. Lovely reverse. Recycle energy. Uh, you guys really don't care about these, but here they are. For your eyes, um, one we haven't seen, I think, there. Drudagon. Fuck you. Um, open up the next one. And then we'll eventually take a look at all three of those beautiful rares, hopefully some nice ones. Take off the code card, throw it away, one, two, three, to the front. You know how we do, flip it around, we got a lightning energy, take it off, we have a Digibyte. We have a Gabite. Wait, what am I doing? Um, I'm doing it wrong, wait, I can still save this. We have the reverse, weakness guard energy. Then we're gonna flip that around, we're gonna take off the rare, we're gonna stack it with those. We're gonna have another look at the weakness guard energy. And then we're going to fucking chuck it down. We're gonna pick all these three of these up. We're gonna have a look at these. Let's see what we got to start it off. Absolutely jack shit. Uh, what is this move? Licks go crazy. I'm telling ya, the card game. Absolutely on some shit. Uh, we've got something, I can see some border of something nice. Up next! Oh my god! All three versions! What? That is absurd. All... that... Th th that's all three, right? There's not a, um, alternate art, I don't think. I think... That is so strange. And then, and then in the end, Slowpoke and Psyduck! Wow! And this is a... That's a beautiful full art. Um, and then that's just the normal GX. But that... Look at the hollow. Look how much hollow space is in that corner. It's crazy. That is so cool. We have this one. This one. And then this beauty. Uh, there is alternate art versions of some cards. I don't think they have one though. My gosh! That's, um, that's definitely a first for me, I think. That's very cool, though. Uh, we have another pack. I'm trying not to show this as I open it really sloppily. Um, we have a code. Yeah, you can scan that one. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of the psychic energy. If you don't know, uh, the code cards we are... Ooh, big giant golden bell. Uh, the code cards we're using, uh, you scan them in or you type them in to receive a free booster pack in the online card game. I no longer play it. I do not have the time. Um, so I just sort of give them away in videos. Technically, uh, I could sell them in bulk on eBay, especially some of the box ones, but again, I don't really have the time for that. I'd rather give them away to you guys. However, um, yeah, so this thing that you, is here, there's a QR code that you can scan. So that's why I don't want to show them too much because one guy could, or a couple of people at the very start when I release the video, could just go through and try to scan as many as possible. Well, if I just show the code, it's a lot harder to type. We have a Cubone as a reverse. And on the very end, a camera up. Sulk! Breg! Alright, here we go. What do we got? There is the thing, and this, 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 that, this. <coughs> Chef. <coughs> My name is Craig. You have Craig. We've got Craig. Craig and all. That sounds like a Panadol brand. A um, painkiller. Craigagaru. Craig. Cry... Cryogonal. Cryogonal. Alright. 
very end, a bird. And so let me put, let me put a couple more birds in the set. You guys, did you guys say? I thought I heard you say you wanted more bird Pokemon, right? Yeah, put some more suggestions in the fucking bird ballot box. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do for yo? Something crazy. I'm gonna open up the Japanese pack, just real quick, just to test our luck on the Japanese one to the front. Only five cards in it. We have on the end of this one. Ooh, we've got Ross from Friends as a holographic. Excellent. Straight back in to the English. Come on, how do I do this? It always opens all fucky. I feel like I'm fucking the cards. We have code one, two, three to the front. Get rid of darkness energy. Hearth, baby. We have on the end a Celebi. One of my favorite Pokemon. Very cool. Actually, no, I love Jirachi. I hate Celebi's giant alien fucking head. Very end. Uh, Whimsicott. Nah, Celebi's all right. Is this a bottomless booster box? What's happening? Have I just forgot what it's like to open 36 packs, each one containing 10 cards? Um, we have code one, two, three to the front. We have lightning, energy, Kamala, Del Delmize, Cresselia, Scraggy with his pants hanging by his feet. We have a unidentified fossil as a reverse. And on the end, we've got a romper stomp and executor having a great day at the beach. Hey, um, when a Lolan executor goes for a, 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 like a walk through a nice beach like this, which would probably be more often since it's, you know, in the Alola region and all. Um, is it possible for its tail to be drowned and killed? Like when it's just w walking through the beach, you know, because its head is so high up, it can go so far into the... Surely the tail has to be able to breathe underwater. Well, that makes no sense. Um, or is it just like a brain dead one, which is, it has been drowned in the first place. So it's sort of just, you know, sort of brain dead hanging uh, enough. Okay. I've spoken enough about this specific topic. We have a Bashana. We've got a Dragonair. We've got a Tortuga. With t t t t t t uh, Channeler as a reverse crazy look bitch. Or is it a guy? I don't know. Um, not judging. No labels. And very end, Celebi. Really nice uh, holographic Celebi. Somehow, we've still got heaps to go. Um, we are going to open up another pack. Like so, we're gonna strip it down. We're gonna pull it across, let's see what we get. There you go. One, two, three to the front, get rid of the water energy. We've got Blaine's quiz show. Still sort of wondering what he's quizzing the people are about or why he only has these shitty fold out chairs. Being a gym leader is clearly not paying much. Those government funds aren't going through. We have a Dweeble. Um, didn't Blaine used to be in the army or is that just Lieutenant Surge? We have a Mana as a reverse. Tucking in EV. And Pikachu into bed, uh, probably using hypnosis on them, hopefully doing nothing creepy. And on the very end, we've got Ben 10. Next pack, uh, let's get this poker bread. We have some cards in here, I'm assuming. Oh my god, I'm a psychic. We have a code. One, two, three to the front, let me guess. Oh, it's an energy. Uh, ground. Ground type? Leaf! Fuck, I'll try again after this one. We have a Munchlax. Beautiful Pokemon. Doesn't have a whole lot of cards to himself, I don't think. Bibarel, Sawaddle, Bidoof, Scroopy, Scrappy, Wimpod, Noibat! We have Lucario training the boys as reverse. Very end, shitty bird. Another pack. Another day, another pack. Let's see if I can guess this one. Here is the code card. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of. Oh, I'm sensing it's ground. I, oh, I'm getting an earthy undertone. That's ground. It's gr not water. All right, we'll try again. Next pack. Noctowl. Another bird. Another bird. Two birds. A fucking eel. A sword. A mouse. Another two bird. Two more birds. This is the other art I was talking about though? Um, Hootoots sw fucking sweating bullets as Zapdos prowls, looking for some fucking bird meat. Uh, Scraggy. We have a camel. Another bird. Reverse. Um, and then a Hooper. The final boss in Sonic. Th I think I've made that joke before. I won't do that again. Come on, you bastard. We there we go. We're going to try to guess what this one is. We have a code card. One, two, three to the front. Let's see. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Oh, wait. I'm feeling earthy undertone. I'm, I'm guessing this is ground. Ground type? Water. Two back-to-back -back waters, I think. Oh, there's the ground. I was feeling one card too late. I was going straight through. Look at the names. Deep sea boring! Because it looks fucking boring! I, I don't... Uh, why? It's, it's just so random. Blue's Tactics. Nice card. 
um, interesting change of title between the Japanese and the English since the names are just so fucky. Uh, we've got a Dupita and then a Dupita again as a reverse on the very end. And then a beautiful Victini. Don't mind Victini. His eyes are a little bit creepy. Kind of like a big fucky pop vinyl. Two packs to go. Okay, we're really steamrolling again towards the end. Let's uh, take a little bit of time here. Undress that pack. Here is the code. One, two, three to the front. Oh my god! I've got it. I'm sensing... I'm sensing a dojo. Martial arts? Fighting! Fighting. It's fighting type. Darkness! Water, water, dark. Okay. Try again. Last pack. We've got a Relicanth with Deep Sea Boring. We've got Blues. Ooh, Blues Tactics again. Lampet, Gibble, Lickitung, Dweeble, Dweeble, Mana. We've got a Pikachu looking very excited. A Levani as a reverse. And on the very end, folks, a fucky crab. You know, my friend Michael hates crabs. All right. Um, we are <laughs> we're finally down to the last pack. What's it going to be? A ground type on the front. We have one, two, three to the front. Ooh, I'm sensing a water energy. If this is a ground, I swear to fucking God. Ooh, leaf. Okay. I think it was leaf, uh, water, water, darkness, leaf. Uh, Mesprit, Komala, Pokemon Research Lab, Drillba, Dweeble, Dweeble, Pidav, Manafucker. We got a Pikachu, Among Us for Fungus, Among Us the Fungus. There's a fungus among us. And on the very end. An executor, having a splash, getting his feet wet, wetting his whistle. Thank you, guys. Um, you've been a lovely audience. We do still need to open up another pack, so stay tuned. Burning Shadows. Uh, we've got a blister here. I haven't opened this one specifically, I don't think, this blister before. This is um, an all-new promo for me here. We have a Komala with... Oh, look at that sparkle. Lovely name there, Comatose. That's great, Pokemon. Make fun of people in comas. You make me sick. Code card for the blister. And here we go with a sun and moon. Could this random standalone blister be the key to getting that beautiful Charizard? We have a code on the end. One, two, three to the front. We're getting rid of the fairy energy. We have a gloom. We've got a Surviper. We've got a Lana Lana. We've got a no, 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 We've got a Mudbray Mud Horse. We've got a Fish Boys. We've got a Crow Gunk looking for something. What's he looking for? We don't know. Very, nope. It's um, close to a Charizard, I guess, but no cigar. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the retention on the video. Unless, of course, you skip to the end. Then I hope you burn in hell. My name's Max Mofo Pokemon. You can buy the Big Nut merch. Now! It's live now! Link at the top of the description! You can buy the shirt individually or you can buy the nut pin individually, which now has cheaper shipping, I think. They've just, I think they've just added that. Or you can buy the big nut bundle, which comes with the shirt and the pin for a less price than buying them both individually, and I will send you a hand-signed fucky glossy mini poster. I don't know why we called them mini posters, it's just like a fucking postcard. Thanks guys, See, I'll see you in two or three days, hopefully.